New information from the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration shows that 42% of pills contained at least 2 milligrams of fentanyl. That is considered a potentially lethal dose. They say drug trafficking organizations typically distribute fentanyl by the kilogram. One kilogram of fentanyl has the potential to kill 500,000 people. The CDC says more than 36,000 people died from overdoses involving synthetic opioids in 2019. So how can you tell if a drug contains fentanyl? Well, one company has created a new testing strip designed to do just that. Emma Jerome joins us live digging deeper into what is called Fent check. So this is something, Emma, where people can test their drugs for this deadlier drug. Absolutely, Emily. 36,000 people dead in 2019 from synthetic opioid overdoses such as fentanyl. Double that last year. It is a problem that's continuing to rise. It's a contemporary problem, according to people who work with this sort of drug and work with these sort of accidental overdoses. In many cases, they are accidental. People don't know they are even taking these drugs. Enter FentCheck. FentCheck is a completely anonymous testing strip that when used properly will tell you if your drugs contain fentanyl. The creators of FentCheck started in 2019 and wanting to distribute this in places such as tattoo parlors, skate shops, bars, music venues. Currently, FentCheck is all over the country in numerous places such as Oakland, San Francisco, Philly and New York City and one location here in Oregon right here at Star Bar in Southeast Portland. Josh Davis, owner of Star Bar, says they go through about 40 to 50 strips a week. People just coming up to the counter and grabbing them. Just acknowledging that drug use exists. It's not condoning it. It's not advocating for it. It's acknowledging that it exists and giving people a tool to make a more informed decision. When they look to expand, Dean Schold, co-founder of FentCheck, says they are looking for three things. They need venues, volunteers, and Venmos. They are completely supported by donations, and they're trying to expand this into more places. Dean Schold is from the Portland area. He says he wants to get it in Portland. He wants to get it in Eugene. He says we, of course, really do need it right now because, like I mentioned, it's a contemporary issue, this rapid spike in fentanyl overdoses, and doing anything they can to decrease that dramatically is what they want to do. Reporting live in Southeast Portland this morning, Emma Jerome, Coin 6 News. All right, Emma, thank you.